guys and welcome back to my youtube channel so this is a sheen haul and obviously my sheen haul has come into two parts the second part is coming today which i will add on at the end of this video so i'm going to show you what i have so far and as always i'm going to insert a little clip of how to use sheen how to work it etc and what it looks like because people are finding that very interesting and very handy people are putting things into their baskets into their wish lists etc and using boards so this just shows you a little bit more and it shows you how to use sheen as well as anything else if you are looking for a like a top or something just type in like a random top or hoodies or housewares or something like that then it will come up with everything that you are looking for just add it straight to your basket and then add it to your wish list and then you can make boards like boards are you can search it for different things if you can name one for like homeware um holiday christmas etc you can name it for absolutely anything and it will help you along the way and as soon as you add things in if things come up saying it's sold out don't delete it or anything because they do restock on a lot of things so it might be out of stock now but in like in a week's time it should all come back in stock so let me show you this part of the sheen haul and then when the other half comes i will show you that part as well as always i'm going to leave everything in the description box below for you guys so you have all the links for absolutely everything that i'm going to show you and as always this is a holiday sheen haul so yeah there is going to be like i did tell you there was going to be loads of holiday hauls coming up your way i thought i will buy loads and loads of stuff for the holiday and then when it comes to packing it into my suitcase i can start putting stuff in if i find new stuff i can then revisit my suitcase and think right do i really need this or can i change this or is there an outfit i can change you know so it's good to sort out my suitcase now because i've got 12 months before we go away to tenerife and within them 12 months i could have completely changed my suitcase i know what i'm like i can put all stuff in and think oh my god i want to change that outfit or i've seen this outfit it's better so i've got loads of time to rearrange and change a lot of things if things don't look right and then i've got more time to obviously buy stuff that i need like other little stuff as well so yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and let's get an unboxing this part of the sheen haul so in total i think i ordered 20 items i think it was so some of it is in here and then the rest is in my other part um which is arriving today i don't know what time yet so as soon as it arrives i will then film the rest of this haul for you guys but let's get on to the sheen haul first so i saw a pink bikini which I got in a size 2XL. I absolutely love it. It looks bigger than... Well, it, it, it looks bigger showing you. Um, I will pop a picture up on the screen so you guys can see what it looks like on. Um, because obviously I'm not going to do try and clips on the bikinis and stuff. So, yeah. So, the first thing is this beautiful baby pink bikini. I do have a pink kimono coming, which is in the other um parts so this is what the bikini looks like and it's like little squared patterns and it looks beautiful and it's got a, a little pearl in the middle like i said you guys would see in the little picture as well and now i got absolutely shocked when i saw these bottoms because they look absolutely big and i mean big um obviously they've got to be big to go through my uh, go past my bum but they've got little pearl bits there I looked at the back bit and I thought, oh my god, that's massive. But yeah, it does cover my bum really well. And obviously they tie up on the sides as well. So you guys will see better on the picture in the little picture I'm going to show you. Because I'm not going to show you me in my, in my bikini. Because I'm not going to parade that all over the internet. Plus I don't want to really embarrass myself that much. So I got a swim costume and I think I got another one which is on the way. Um... I got this blue one because I saw, I actually purchased this one before, but I got it in the wrong size. It didn't go past my boobs. So yeah, I had to get a bigger size because for all those big girls out there, if you have problems like me, like the big bums and big boobs, big hips, you know, you have to upsize all your clothes so they can fit on properly. So I have three bikinis and this would be 
the first swimming costume that I've got. Obviously, I've got another one coming in at the other part of the order. But I got this in a size 4XL because, like I said, it's got to go past my boobs, bum and hips. And, yeah, it's in this royal blue colour. And I saw, I actually purchased this um, last year, I think it was. But, I, like I said, I got the wrong size and it did not fit properly. It felt so tight. I felt uncomfortable. I did not like it. Um, but I, lo I love the colour so much because my mum always used to tell me that royal blue suited me really well. So... I thought, you know what, I would just repurchase it into a bigger size so it can fit me properly, go over my bum, boobs and hips. So I've just got two more bits to show you in this part of the order and then when the other part comes today, I will then show you the rest. So I saw these obviously on Sheen and I was like, shall I, shall I not? I don't know whether they would look nice. These are the paper bag waist trousers. Now, again, I will pop a picture up on the screen so you can see a lot better what they look like. And I was a bit, I don't know. I've never owned anything with like paper bag waist before. So I didn't know whether it was gonna suit me, whether it was gonna look nice. But I have tried all these on, hence while the bag was open. Um, and I made, I purchased, obviously I bought these and I bought the white pair and I thought, you know what, I will just buy them. If I don't like them, then I will just sell them to some people. But these are the paper bag elastic trousers and they kind of like flared at the bottom. These are sheared, so they will be perfect for the holiday. They're nice and light. Um, they're not really heavy at all and these can be perfect going like on top of like bikinis or costumes or whatever. Or you can just dress it up as a night outfit as well. So you can have these, a nice cami top, nice little blazer or something, just goes, it's like a little chilly evening. But yeah, um, I thought I'd buy these. And do you know what, when I tried them on, they are actually comfortable. They feel nice and loose as well. They are pretty, not too sheer. Like you can see your hand through them, but not completely see through, you know what I mean? So you can actually wear these for an evening outfit as well. Um, but yeah, like I said, I purchased these in the white as well, so I can dress that up as well. So it could be a nice, another evening set. So obviously the last part in this order is a cami top. Now, <laughs> you guys are gonna think, didn't you order a load of cami tops before? Yes, I did. I used them all and now I've got to purchase them. So I've got this cami top again in the size 2XL. I like it nice and loose fitting because when you're on holiday, you don't really want things all tight, do you? So I bought this baby blue one because it go well with the white night outfit um, with the white blazer and the white shorts. You guys would have seen in the last suitcase update with the white blazer, white shorts and the blue, baby blue cami top. So obviously I bought the baby blue cami top again. I will pop the picture up on the screen so you can see a little bit more better. So this can be for the evening outfit and then it can be versatile as well. So you can wear this with like um, cycling shorts or pair of shorts or anything for like during the day and then you can just change it up and have a nice evening outfit. So it would be versatile. They're nice and loose. They're nice and like really nice flowy. So you, it's not really tight on you. So you don't get really, really hot and sweaty. So you know, I always like my summer clothes all nice and loose fitted. So you don't make yourself more hotter than normal. But yeah, I'm gonna buy, I've actually got a white cami top, I think, come in um, to go with the black night outfit. And I've got a few other little things as well. So I think I've got some like sandals and stuff. Um, but I will show you everything when that parcel arrives today. As always, with the clothes and, well, well not, not the bikini or the costumes, but just the clothes, I will do on try on clips so you guys can see what the clothes look like at the end of this video as well. So you guys can see a rough idea. And then when it comes to sorting my suitcase out, obviously there'll be try on clips. Like I said in the previous video, I am doing the unpacking but packing my suitcase a little bit different this time um i hope it's a, a better one than last time if you actually when it comes to that video can you guys let me know which way you preferred the very first one i done where i just showed you little clips of what i was doing 
or obviously this one that I'm going to do. That video will go up very soon. Um, I don't know when it will go up, but it'll be very soon. And I cannot wait to show you guys the unpacking, but packing. It'll be unpacking for Butlins, but packing for Tenerife. Um, Cause we're no, no longer going to Butlins now. So I've got to take all the Christmas clothes out of there and then pop all the summer stuff in. But yeah, um, I'm just waiting for the second parcel of my sheen to arrive and then I can show you guys the rest of my summer clothes. You made my day, you made my day, you made my day, oh, day, oh. you made my day, you made my day, you made my day. second part of the sheen order so i have obviously i have opened it and i've gone through it and i've put everything on it all looks really nice they all fit they're all comfortable i would pop it up there but i've got a pair of shoes which i might start off with now actually so again with all these i will leave links in the description box below as well so you guys can have a look for yourself but i will just place that there without it all falling so i got these pair of sandals now i saw these and i thought oh my god they are going so well with an outfit i have in mind they are me to a t um so i'll just show you one there's no point in showing you both because they're exactly the same but they are pink diamante sandals they look so beautiful they fit really well and they are comfy and they are a buckle sandals as well yeah, I've got them. And again, this is all for, for the holiday. I have got a small Sheen order coming and a small Temu order coming. And then I think that will be it for now um, for the holiday clothes. I will just need to focus on all the other little bits that I need to get. And then obviously, come near the time, I can sort out outfits, go through my suitcase again, put outfits in, etc, etc. Um, so I've got a, another swimming costume. So I got this in a size of 4XL. It's exactly the same as the blue one, but obviously it's a black. And I have got a kimono that goes with this because I've got a black kimono, so I thought this would look perfect. It's got the gold chain in part here. I'll pop a picture up on the screen so you guys can see this costume a little bit more better. But it's got like the little pattern around the banding. And it's got the little pattern on the straps as well. But yeah, that's what the swimming costume looks like. And the next one I have is this. So I have got two kimonos in this one. Obviously I've got a blue one, which I'm gonna show you, and then this pink one. This pink one actually looks like a shirt. Um, I actually got this in a size 2XL. I will pop the picture up on the screen so you guys can see what it looks like better. Because these don't do exactly justice me showing you so it is a bright pink kimono and it does button up as well so it can be like a little shirt as well to go over the swim costume or bikinis um but yeah it's got like a little elastic cuff back cuff bits at the sleeves and obviously you've got the little buttons um but yeah the picture will show you a lot better of what it looks like and then i have the blue one and again i've got this in a size 2xl again i will pop a picture up on the screen so you guys can see it a little bit more better because like i said kimonos you can't really show properly unless they are on um but it's like a two-tone kimono it's got like the light green and the blues together and again it's got the elasticated bit on the sleeves um this one doesn't have any buttons so it doesn't do up but it looks really really nice also i will put on try on clips at the end of this video so you guys can see what kind of these clothes look like obviously i can't do the swim costume or the kimonos because the kimonos go with a different costume 
I don't really want to wear costumes and bikinis on the internet. It's basically the same like underwear really. But any of the clothes I will pop on um, a try on clips at the end and there will be a video of a airport outfit because I need your guys help. I have got two different colours, which one is in this order. So I've got the pink set and a grey set, but I can change tops or keep the tops that I have in mind. But I don't know what ones would be better, what one would look better, what one would be comfier. They're, well, they're all comfy, but I just need your guys' help of what ones, but I would that would be in a video coming up anyway. Anyway, let's get back to this haul. So this next one I got in a size of 2XL. Now these are the exactly the same trousers as the black ones, but obviously they're in the white version. I will pop the picture up on the screen so you guys can see a lot better. But these are just exactly the same as the black. These are the paper bag waist trousers. Obviously they are like little linen trousers, so they'd be very good for an evening. Plus, if you are wearing like a bikini and you can just pop this straight over the top if you've got to go to the, pop to the shop or something or just get something like a bar or anything like that, you can just pop this over the top. So yeah, a picture will show you a lot better than I am now. There's quite a few in this box. Then I have this. Now, if I remember rightly, oh yeah, this is the bandeaued dress and uh, I've got this in a size of 2XL. I will pop a picture up on the screen so you guys can see. Now this is another day outfit because um, I needed one more day outfit. So I've got this day outfit. So it's a bandeau dress, exactly the same as the black one that you guys saw in my unpacking slash packing for Tenerife. Um, I did have the beige one, but the beige one didn't really look right on me, so I got rid of it. Um, but yeah, it's just basically exactly the same as the black. Same pattern and everything, so little flow, flowery bits at the bottom, the bandeau bits at the top. So I got that dress. Again, I will pop a picture up on the screen so you guys can see. And then I got um, this top. Now, I completely forgot I bought this top. If you guys saw, in um, the unpacking, packing for packing for Tannery video, I paired the bandeaued feather top with the white cycling shorts. I completely forgot I've ordered this top until it arrived. So this is the feather top in a size 2XL. I will pop a picture up on the screen so you guys can see. But this is the feather cami top. I completely forgot I bought this. Um, I will try this on. Obviously, I will be sorting the suitcase again nearer the time. Uh, at the moment, I'm just going to be popping these into the suitcase. I won't be putting them in their bags just yet because I'm going to sort everything out again. Um, but yeah, I completely forgot I bought this top. This top might look well with the shorts, but when I go through the suitcase nearer the time, um, I will try this with the shorts um, to see what one that looks better, whether this top with the shorts or the bandeau top with the shorts as well. But yeah, I've got this and it's got like a little lace bit as the strap and it's a nice little cami top, which I quite like. And next we have, I think these are the shorts, um, but these are bright pink and they are in size 2XL. I believe these are the shorts. Let me have a look. Um, yeah, this is the cycling shorts. So again, I will pop the picture up on the screen so you guys can see. So these are the bright pink or hot pink, people would say, uh, cycling shorts. So these are going to be paired with the bandeau dress so I can have some shorts underneath so my legs don't get right. I don't know about you guys, but because I've got such big thighs, they kind of like rub together in the heat and it hurts so I'm going to put some cycling shorts underneath and I can actually pair it with like a cami top if I wanted to just to mix and match the outfits and then um, I have a, another cami top which is a white one which is a size 2XL again I will pop the picture up on the screen you guys have seen this top before because I bought it for the last time um, we was meant to go to Tenerife, um, but then got cancelled. But this is just a plain white 
cami top. This is going to be paired with so many different outfits you guys would have seen in the unpack um, slash a pack by Tenerife video. So you would have seen that. I've got a nice white cami top. Plus these can go with different outfits as well. These are all the stuff that I have left. So I got some pink shorts. Now these are the size 2XL. Now this is the other airport outfit that I was I'm in and I'm in about, but I thought, you know what, I will buy it and then show you guys it in a video and see what you guys think. Um, I will pop the picture up on the screen so you guys can see a lot better. But they're exactly the same as the grey pair that I got. These are just bright pink, Los Angeles, like, um, not cycling shorts, just normal plain shorts, elasticated waist. Um, but yeah, I don't know whether to wear these ones or the grey one for the airport outfit that will be in a video coming up as well poor outfit video um but yeah i don't know whether to wear these ones or the gray ones i do have mix and match t-shirts like i said that will be coming up in a video shortly um and then i have a top here which is in a size 2xl again this is in a bright pink i will pop the picture up on the screen so you guys can see now i originally was going to pair this with the shorts to go on like for the airport outfit, but I don't know. I'll have to try everything all on for you guys on that video and then see what you guys think. But it's called Vacay Mode. I actually quite like it. It's in a bright pink colour and obviously it's got Vacay Mode on. It's just a normal, normal top. Um, but yeah. And just a few more bits we have to show you. I've got a cami top here, which is in a size 2XL. Now I saw this and I thought this could be another kind of top I could wear for the airport so I bought both tops like I said that will be in a video coming up soon so you guys can choose which one is so much better for the airport um, again I will pop a picture up on the screen so you guys can see it is a cami top with like the lacy bit at the back um, which I thought was absolutely beautiful I loved it it is nice and pink it goes well with the shorts like I said, I have tried everything all on, so yeah, everything all fits, everything goes well together. But yeah, I'm, I'm deciding, I don't know whether to keep this with the shorts or not for the airport outfit. Like I said, that will be in a video coming up soon, so I need your guys' help. But yeah, um, I bought this beautiful bright pink candy top. Then, obviously, I bought a zip hoodie to go for the airport outfit because obviously I've got the grey version. So I have a hoodie, which is in a size 2XL. Again, I will pop a picture up on the screen. Um, but it's just a bright pink zip up hoodie for the plane. Because obviously it gets a little bit chilly on the plane. So I thought I'd do the bright pink version as well. Um, I will show you more about that in the airport outfit video. And then just last three bits to show you, I have a suitcase of cover. Um, I saw these and I thought, ooh, I don't know whether to get one or not. And I thought it makes my suitcase stand out and then I would know which one's my suitcase. So I will pop a picture up on the screen so you guys can see a lot better because I probably won't do its justice right here. So I got the L one, obviously, because that's my initial. And you guys probably won't be able to see me for a second, but I got this L1, it's got a beautiful flower on and it goes over your suitcase. So like you have seen in the picture, it just glides onto your suitcase so it secures it even better. I have got a padlock on it as well, um, which no one knows the number for, um, but I just wanted to secure it just that little bit extra and then I can know which suitcase is mine and it will stand out just two last little bits to show you i got this beautiful necklace again i will pop a picture up on the screen so you guys can see see it better than in the packaging it's a beautiful pearl and stars or like little seashells on i actually quite like it it's so beautiful i do have a anklet and just a couple of little summery bits, but I need to get some more summer jewellery, really. Um, but yeah, I really don't, I don't have that many summer jewellery. I think I might have bought a few summer jewellery in the tenue order. But yeah, I've got that 
And then I got these. So I only wanted one for my powder puff, but I will pop the picture up on the screen so you guys can see. I will get one out so I can show you. Basically, they're like little covers for your powder puff. So it's a little storage. So if you use your powder puff, you can just pop it straight in there and close it up and pop it straight into your makeup bag. So all the makeup on your powder puff won't directly go onto your makeup or your makeup brushes and make everything all dirty. It's like the second same as your Beauty Blender cover as well. It has a nice little cover for it so it don't ruin your makeup or your makeup brushes. My hands on your body hey. Surroundings getting foggy today's video everything that i have showed you throughout this video all the links will be in the description box below so if you've seen anything throughout this video that you are interested in then all the links will be in the description box i have enjoyed doing these videos like i said i've got a small sheen haul coming up a small 10 new one and then that will probably be it for the like, clothes wise for the holiday I've just got to focus on everything else. Plus I've got Christmas coming up as well, so I need to buy some Christmas stuff. So I just need to focus on the last little bits I need for the holiday, just put it all in the suitcase. I'm not gonna bother about putting it into its rightful places. I'm just gonna put it straight all in there. And then nearer the time, I can then take the suitcase out, film it properly. Um, I hope you guys liked the way I filmed the last suitcase video that you guys just saw. Um, if you like that kind of style, then I will do it again. But there will be another come pack with me um, nearer the time when we go as well. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that video. I've got a glossy box unboxing coming up. I've got a um, airport outfit needs help video coming up. I've got a few other little bits as well to film as well. And I've got, obviously, I've got the small sheen all that and the small. 10 new orders going up as well so i hope you guys enjoy all these videos as always if you have enjoyed this video give it a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys